Let's go investigate the cleanser shower a bit. That cleanser doesn't seem very portable. It isn't, but this is. A perfume bottle? Yes. No. I mean, yes, it's a perfume bottle, but inside is a concentrated dose of my all-purpose cleanser. With a little luck, this should last me through the next 12 hours before its component chemicals break down into a series of cloth-destroying enzymes. Clever. You'd be ashamed if something happened to it. What the hell is that? What? Sorry, I, I thought I saw a tarantula. <laughs> Hmm. What? I was just thinking about the future. All that talk about Edna's grandfather made me realize something. Please let it be something about lightning. Life can be short, sometimes brutally so. So why not seize the day and grab your happiness while you can? I'm not sure I like where this is going. I was saving this for next Valentine's Day, but why should I? I know what I want. Oh God, what? Damn it. No. I'm gonna ask Edna to marry me. Right now. But she's not here. No. Oh, right, right. I'll wait until tonight at the expo. It'll be much more romantic that way. Just think. By this time tomorrow, Edna and I will be engaged and will be the toast of the scientific community. And I owe it all to you. You're welcome. <sighs> well, when you yeah, propose... I've got to go out for a while. I thought Edna sent you to make sure I wasn't getting distracted. Oh, you'll be fine. Well, when you propose, I'll be sure to spray you with that enzyme that will destroy your clothes. And I'll make an embarrassment of you. Then Edna won't want to marry you and the future will be saved. Granted, you'll probably have to get, like, you know, therapy to pick you lots of love in life. But I mean, aside from that, future saved. Can I talk to you a minute, Miss Strickland? Surely. Excuse us a moment. It's like this. Rather hard for me to picture Emmett as a chick magnet. When he's properly pomaded and decked out in my grandfather's white suit, Emmett just glows. Makes my heart flutter a bit just to picture him. Right. That's all the... Okay. Very well. Hey, Doc. I mean, uh, Mr. Sagan. Excuse me a moment, Miss Strickland. I've got her neutralized for the moment. How's the plan proceeding on your end? Is it true that you only had eyes for Edna? At that time, I'm afraid so. I always tended to idealize the opposite sex. I was educated in a boys' school, and Jules Verne was always a little sketchy with female characters. You ever got time for a therapy session, Doc? Edna made a point of saying that teenage you look great in her grandfather's suit. I, uh, I did cut a fine figure in that suit. She hated it when I got it dirty. Maybe I could talk teenage you into losing the suit. I doubt it. I knew how much that suit meant to Edna, and at that time, my only desire was to please her. I swiped this from Emmett's, your lab. My it's anti a anti stick, anti stain formula. I remember it well. I had high hopes for that concoction until I discovered that it decays into a cloth shredding enzyme after 12 hours. That's what your younger self said. All right, not much I can really do about that. So now, um, right, gotta test it out on the uh, fur of the past or something like that. Here we are. Uh, inventory spray ball. It's a good thing I did this before Emmett's 12 hour time limit, where the cleanser might have dissolved the fur. Ooh, okay, so apparently what we've got to do is we've got to put the uh, spray bottle into the DeLorean and tell Emmett that the um, it, that it's ready for a test. So speed up, Marty. There we go. It'll be safe in there. Surely. Oh, can't walk around that way, apparently. Okay, let's go around the other way. Now, Doc, need to help. I need to talk to you. Excuse me, my dear. Yes? About that gizmo you've got hooked up to the DeLorean? The chronometric analyzer? 
Yeah, what am I supposed to look for again? A signal that it's done evaluating the time circuits. The analysis can take a while. Be sure to let me know when the light turns green, and I'll take her out for another test run. Okay, so let's see if it's ready for a test run. Come on. Doc said to tell him when the light on his diagnostic thingy went green. Hey, the light's green. That means Doc could take the DeLorean out again. Sweet. Okay, now, Doc, go take it out on a test run. I need to... Just say... Much obliged. Yes? About that gizmo you've got hooked up to the DeLorean? The chronometric analyzer? Yeah, the light's gone green. Wonderful. If the systems check out, I should be able to take it for another test run. I've got to run a short end, Miss Strickland. I suggest you think about what I've been saying. Oh, I will. When did you land this time? Nine hours and 37 minutes ago. Ouch. Frankly, it started to get a little difficult to avoid running into myself. Still, the time jump yielded some interesting new data on the flux field. I'll run some more tests and we'll see what we find. Doc's trip aged the formula a few hours. Not enough to turn it to acid, though. Ugh. So what now? Put it back in? I guess that's all I can do. Is the light green? Nope. No green light yet. Oh. Nope. No green. Uh, so what? So how am I? I gotta wait until there's a green light, but there's no green light. Hi, tricks. Oh, hiya, kiddo. Say, wouldn't it be easiest if I just march up to that Strickland dame and give her a smack in the puss? Well, it would be fun to watch, but I wouldn't get her to break up with my friend Emmett. Oh, right. You got all the props I asked for? The furs and the diamond? And your friend's photo album? Not all of them yet, but I'm working on it. Good. I mentioned to give Miss High and Mighty an eyeful. Well, I guess all we can do is just um, sort of just pick up the stuff um, Trixie needs. So... Let's slip out of those furs, shall we? There we go. We got the uh, photo album and we got the fur now, so now we just need the... Uh diamonds. Don't know how I'm going to try and get those. Pleasant dreams, Hill Valley. And the Expo would like to remind you that you can find everything you need to transform your dreams into reality at Hal's Hardware. Hal's Hardware. Serving our fair city since 1895. Agricultural advances will make it a breeze to feed our burgeoning course, population. Our residents will tired want to of waiting for the into the pressure as a real job. And our fair opportunities that have left a ride in this elevated future for the future of the Valley circa 1981. Courtesy of Hal's Hardware and the collective imagination of mankind. Could this oh. be our venerable town square? I'll take it. <laughs> yes, Just indeed. Though okay, enough of that talk diorama. You, I don't need you anymore. Trixie, ever. I need you. Tricks? My god, that diorama is not going to shut up, is it? I'll oh, shut a up. Smack in the puss. Well, it would be... Oh, right. You got... Not all of them yet, but I'm... Good. Hi, Mitch. What are you talking about? We got them all. Is that... Oh, whoops, wrong button. How is that not all of them? Oh. Voila. Say, pretty snazzy for a phony rock. Gimme. Keep that up and I may take a real shine to ya. I'd rather you take a fake shine to Emmett. I'm working on it. How about the furs in the photo album? I'll get them to you. So he just doesn't automatically give them to her? Hey Trixie. Are these furs good enough? Well, they're a little ratty, but uh, they'll work. Now bring me that photo album, and we'll be in business. So I, so she can't automatically take all of it. I just have to manually give her each one. That seems a bit odd. Normally this game's great about just I handing everything photo to album, her. Like you asked. To people, Let's rather. See. Gee, he's not bad looking. In an egghead kind of way. Remember, I don't want you seducing him for real. I ain't a cradle robber, kiddo. So, you got everything you need for your big scene? Everything except for your friend. Emmett Brown. Red-headed guy about yay high. He'll be the one with Edna Strickland. 
Not for long, he won't. That's the spirit. Great. Now it's time to get a move on. Let's see if that light's green yet, since that's all we could really do. Nope. No green. Oh, so what, nope. what am I supposed to do now? Ugh. Hey, the light's green. Oh, so apparently skateboarding back and forth managed to turn it green. Okay, so that's how you do it. Doc, it's green. Hey, Carl. I'm sorry. Call me. Your chronometer's gone green again. Excellent. Let's hope this time my test run is a success. I'm sorry to desert you again. Yes, well, you've left me with plenty to think about. Any luck this time? Depends what you mean by luck. My arrival time was off again. By how much? Eight hours this time. Gave me the chance to take in three showings of Frankenstein. Good movie. A bit implausible from a scientific perspective, but I can see how my younger self would have been mesmerized. But what about the DeLorean? Oh, yes. I did get one critical piece of information. The chromium elements in my circuits became unstable during the temporal shift. I should replace them with titanium. Great! Now, unfortunately, titanium won't become commercially available till the coal process is perfected in nine years. Nine years? But there may be another solution. I'm going to fire up the chronometric analyzer again. Then, while I'm stalling in there, you can... Uh-oh. Where did it go? The lab! Ah! You better get down there before she makes the situation impossible. I'll tend to the DeLorean. Age to perfection. <laughs>